Have you ever pondered the intricate aspects of someone's personality? Today, we dive into the world of collocations related to character traits. These are unique combinations of words that often go together, helping us describe the many facets of human personality. First off, there's the phrase aspect of someone's personality. This refers to a particular part or feature of someone's character. For instance, you might say, her ability to empathize is a significant aspect of her personality. Next up is good company. When we say someone is good company, we mean that they're enjoyable to be around. For example, he's always making us laugh. He's such good company. Our third collocation is a selfish streak, which means a tendency to think only about oneself. An example of this might be, she can be generous at times, but she has a selfish streak when it comes to sharing her food. Moving on, we have a good sense of humor. This is a desirable trait, indicating that someone finds many things amusing and often makes others laugh. You might say, his good sense of humor is infectious and lights up any room. Following this, we have a vivid imagination. This suggests that someone has a creative mind, able to produce detailed and colorful mental images. An example sentence could be, her vivid imagination makes her an excellent storyteller. Our next collocation is a razor-sharp mind. This means a very intelligent and quick-thinking mind. For instance, even at his advanced age, he maintains a razor-sharp mind. The term fiercely loyal is next. It refers to someone who is extremely faithful and supportive. An example might be, he is fiercely loyal to his friends and would do anything for them. Next, we have put others first. This is a trait of someone who prioritizes others' needs or happiness over their own. For example, she always puts others first, even if it means sacrificing her own comfort. The phrase, painfully shy, describes someone who is extremely, often uncomfortably shy. An example could be, he is painfully shy and often struggles to join in conversations. Then we have supremely confident, which describes someone with an extreme level of self-assuredness. For instance, she walked into the room supremely confident, ready to ace the interview. Next, there's a strong sense of responsibility. This refers to someone who feels a duty to deal with something or to take care of others. An example might be, he has a strong sense of responsibility for his younger siblings. The phrase bear a grudge means to continue feeling an old resentment towards someone. An example would be, she tends to bear a grudge, even over minor disputes. Our next terms are keep your temper and lose your temper. The former means to manage to stay calm, while the latter signifies losing control and getting angry. For example, he managed to keep his temper during the debate but lost his temper when he got home. Lastly, we have brutally honest. This means being honest in a way that may seem harsh or direct. An example could be, she is brutally honest, always telling the truth, no matter how hard it is. And now we delve into keeping someone's word. This phrase refers to the act of fulfilling a promise or following through on a commitment one has made. For instance, if you say, I'll finish the project by tomorrow, and you actually do, you're keeping your word. It's a valuable trait that speaks volumes about one's character. Like in the case of our friend John, he always keeps his word, which makes him a highly dependable and trustworthy individual. Remember, our words are a reflection of our integrity and reliability. In conclusion, these collocations help us describe and understand the complex world of human personality traits. From being good company to having a razor-sharp mind or being painfully shy, these phrases enrich our language, making our descriptions more precise and colorful. Remember, language is not just about communication, it's also about understanding and expressing the nuances of our human experience. 